DJ Pro for the Mac is loaded with so many amazing features. The only thing is some of them may be hard to find. So in this short video, I'm gonna show you where all the features are and how to use them. When you first launch the software, this is what you're going to see. And it looks pretty limited because we have the bottom part, like 75, maybe 80% of the screen is for our music libraries and our playlist. And then up here, we have this little strip with some features. So you may think that it's limited with features, but I'll show you how to add more. So with just this open, we obviously get crossfader, volume faders here, gain controls here, our mixers over here, filters with the mixers, a little Nero mix slider here, all vocals or all instrumentals, BPM, play, set, and Q jump. But there are so many more features and how they were able to add, how they were able to fit all these features is with these expansions up here at the top. So let me go through all of them and show you what they do. Over here is where you're gonna control your volume. Not really an expansion, but I'm just gonna go over all these. This is where you will do recording. You could start a recording there. Over here is our first expansion pack. So this is going to be for our cue points and for our loops. So when you first press it, boom, you'll probably be in the cue point, point section. So we can make our cue points over here and then we could delete them by pressing this pencil and deleting them. But with this expansion, it does more than one thing and you're gonna find the other things that it does over here in the middle. So there is a hidden drop down menu over here and then you have the pitch cue feature, slice and skip. These are for DJ tricks and uh, and so pitch cue is gonna pitch pitch the um is gonna pitch it up or pitch it down so you could do like melodies and like that slice and skip or for scratching and dj tricks i'll talk about that in another video and then in the middle here is how we access our loops you can access your auto loops so this is going to be two four eight it'll stay on that amount of loops or you could do manual and you could set in and out and bounce and save loops and then the next one here, we can adjust our beat grid. So all those features become available when we open this expansion pack. The next one is going to be our effects. So press it once, we have our instant effects. And then again, in the middle here is where we're going to change from instant to manual effects. And then we get these sliders on off buttons. So there are your effects, manual, and then instant, you could switch over to instant and then we have instant effects. I made a lot of videos on the effects. You guys could check that out. This one over here opens Nero Mix, the amazing stem separating software inside of this app. You can make instrumentals, you can make acapellas, and you could even control everything in between because you could set it for three bands, press the drop down menu. You can even set it for four bands or simple, simplify it by just instrumentals and acapellas however you wanna use it. And then also there is the neural mix that's always up here. Next one is going to be our sampler and looper. In the software for the iPad, this is a whole nother view mode, but there are less view modes in the Mac section. I'll show you how to change those in a little bit, but it's, here's our expansion. Damn, 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 damn. That is our samples. And then you could press over here to switch to the looper. So the extra features, like I said, are gonna be in the middle. You could switch. You have the amazing looper. You could basically make your own beats right inside the, this software. Now the next one here, it gets a little bit confusing because this is called tools. I have my mouse, it's called tools. So now this will make it so you're able to have more features in this section without opening these expansion. So watch what I mean. Look at what it looks like now. If we press that, now we could control our cue points here. We could control our loops. We can control our effects. And we ha still have our mixer, still have everything else. And the reason why they do that is because if you want to use your effects and your cue points at the same time, now you could have your effects open over here. And then you could have your cue points open or your you could have your cue points open over here or your loops. So you can do more stuff at the same time and that is what DJing is all about. Next is gonna be this one. This will open our waveforms. It may look kind of weird without waveforms, but you could open them like that and we have these forms or 
we have these vertical waveforms here that are really great. You can really tell what's going on. So that's how you open your waveforms. And again, you can have everything else open with it as well. Now we could go over here. This is how we're going to switch to our different view modes. So up here to the right, we get a drop down menu. So now we're in two deck mode. We could switch right to one deck mode. This mode is great for organizing your tracks, setting your cue points and your start and stop for your auto mixes. Speaking of auto mix, next one is auto mix here. This software has an amazing AI driven auto mix section, which is really easy to hop in and hop out. So I definitely recommend you practicing with that. Very easy. You just have to make sure your playlists are good. And then four deck mode, you, yes, you could DJ with up to four decks inside of this software. And then the next one is video mode. DJ Pro makes it so easy to connect a TV or a projector to use video mode to, to, to DJ with music videos and visualizers inside of the amazing software. And if you want to learn more about DJ Pro's video mode for the Mac, check out this video over here.